All right, welcome back to TCG Love and with some more March of the Machine goodness uh, today, I will open this jump start booster. But since I probably think it's gonna be boring, I will compare it to two bundles because it's similar in price. I will tell you the price in a second. Uh, let me set up my camera and my, whoa, my camera is wobbly. Sorry for that. All right. So my Bulbasaur, the Jumpstart Boost uh, box uh, costs 75 bucks. I paid for it. Each bundle costs 32.5 bucks. I got a little discount because I bought six. But basically, this is a, a, around the same price. One Jumpstart or one bundle, which ha uh, will have more valuable cards in it, which cards can I sell to get the money back on which product? We will see. I will scan the cards that I open. Let's start with the jumpstart. I will scan the cards. Uh, I will sell any valuable cards and see if I can make my money back on this jumpstart booster box and on these bundles. All right, so it's a set jumpstart. There's probably gonna be like five themes in it. I didn't really research it. Um, I only bought one of this because there was no discounts for multiples and I thought, man, I'm just gonna lose money on these ones. So le let's see if I was right or not. I like the jumpstart um, idea. You just take two and put them together and you have a deck. I like it. Uh, I wish I could have a friend that I could play it with. Still don't have any friends since the last set. There's gonna be two rares, I think. The first one is Orteon, Hero of Lava Brink. Um, let's sort them a little bit. So this theme was Reinforcement. It's a bunch of red cards. Uh, these are commons, uncommons. I just put them here for now. Um, all right, let's scan this one. Orteon, Hero of Lava Brink. Let's see how much he's worth. Price unavailable. All right, that's a good start. I guess this is one of the reprint, uh, this is one of the unique is it unique? Because I think I pulled this one. Like these jumpstart boosters should have unique cards, but they're probably not rare. Anyway, Into the Fire is our next rare. Let's get it. This one is 11 cents, so it goes to the trash pile. I'll check this one manually. I think this is the unique. I guess this is the unique design. Let's put them here. And then we got a bunch of basic lands. Oh, cool. Two foil lands in the end. I'll just put the lands all here. Uh, let me quickly check the value of this guy. Orteon, Hero of Lava Brink, 50 cents. I'll also put it here. 50 cents around, that much. Um, yeah, let's keep going like this, uh, like this. And I want to you guys to tell you a little bit what the giveaway that I want to do. So this is Ovar Achiever. That's cool art. Uh, we have this card, which I didn't see yet. And oh, we got some nice rares. Interdisciplinary mascot is the first one. I actually don't know about this one. Price unavailable again. But this one is worth something. Chrome host seed shark. One buck. All right, this goes here. Uh, and then we have nothing else. Let's check this one. I don't know why these first ones are um, unknown to the scanner. This one is two cents. So also nothing. Goodbye, man. Yeah, these set jump starts. We got two different themes, that's already good. Let's see if we can get something else. But yeah, jump starts are usually not worth the money because they have only two rares. I don't know how much the booster is. Probably more than a set booster, right? Set boosters are usually worth more. Zurak and Guaclo is the rare in this one. Price unavailable. And Realm Breaker, the Invasion Tree. The other one, 33 cents. Oops, that was wrong. Mm. 
Dirk and Gonclaw. I already pulled this one. 250. Oh no, it dropped in price. <laughs> I see my own uh, price here. I put it up for 250 only a few days ago. Now the price already dropped to uh, 182 bucks. Oh, it's actually not that much. We got another reinforcement. So I guess there's going to be one theme for each color. So red is always reinforcement. And we got this same Orthion. I'm not going to scan it. And Nahiri's War Crafting. It's four cents. Because here, some basic lands go here. Um, probably not gonna make 75 bucks back on this one. Another reinforcement. Do we get the same first rare? Oh, yeah, we did. Orthion Hero of Lava Brink. Oh man, these jumpstart boosters are even more boring than the previous set. Five cents goes here, this goes here, goes here. Uh, what did I want to say? Oh, yeah. Um, if you enjoy my videos, you can check my last two. I pulled a serialized card in my last collector booster this, um, video. That was pretty dope. Uh, if you like my videos, please consider subscribing. I kind of aim for a thousand subscribers. It gets less and less likely. Well, Gopla, we already know, is worth something, actually. Let's go here. Oh, shit! Oh, my God, I didn't see it. Random Realm Breaker. Holy shit. I didn't pay attention to it, oh my god. Uh, Red and Realm Breaker, this is the most valuable card in the set. Let's see how far the price dropped, 18 bucks. Um, it's not bad, but boy oh boy was uh, Phyrexia all will be one worth more. But this is the first time I pull Ren, uh, Ren and she looks just, the artwork is gorgeous. Beautiful. Put it here. Fortunately, I have to sell it. To recoup some of the cash um, yeah uh, if you like my videos I try to open each magic the gathering product oh brood the first time we got the white theme I try to open each magic the gathering product and check the value uh, in them I'll, I'll, I'll try to sell the cards and see if I can make my money back basically trying to grab as many free cards as I can uh, because if I make my money back basically the rest is for free on the book um, it's kind of how I, how I enjoy uh, opening them. Uh, Essence of Orthodoxy, let's check it quickly manually. Essence of Orthodoxy is two cents. All right, I guess now we got all the unknowns here. Uh, if you like my video, please consider subscribing. Uh, uh, I'll just repeat myself. Oh, no, we didn't pull, uh, we didn't open the black one yet, right? All right, so now we got the black theme. And we got Terror of Tovashi. I guess it's also gonna be price unavailable. Yep, and we got Bloated Processor. Two cents put here. Let's check this one manually. Terror of Tovashi. 50 cents, not bad. I'll put it here for now. Maybe I'll sell it. All right, let's finish my thought. Please subscribe. That's just what I uh, wanted to get to. If you enjoy my videos, um, if you want to see more Magic the Gathering products opened as they come out, oh, this one we know already. This one, let's scan it just to have the total more accurate. Um, I try to aim for a thousand subscribers. It, less, it seems like less and less <laughs> um, likely. But if we hit a thousand subscribers, I will do a giveaway with a collector booster display. Uh, I will give away some collector booster. Oh, also left the Shattered Spire. Packs to some lucky winners and it's gonna be this one I guess 
Um, if we don't hit a thousand, I'll just give away a bundle like these. Um, basically, what you have to do to participate in the giveaway is comment under my videos, be a subscriber, leave a nice comment, and I will have your name and I can put it in a list. And then, based on the value of products that I open, you will get giveaway points. We got um, Monastery Mentor here, he's got a few bucks. Yep, 250. Uh, you will get some points and then the more points you collected at the end the more likely it is that you will Get a booster. It's gonna be a fun game. You can check my last few giveaways Oops. And good luck to anybody and I hope you get something good grafted butcher Nonsense Alright, we got this crocodile guy. Six packs left, I think. I assume we are at around 30 bucks. We need some big pulls, but there are no real big pulls in the set, unfortunately. Gorkla I put here. Glistening Dawn. Five cents. Uh, I don't know why this set is valued so low, the cards. I don't know if they dropped too much, they weren't high in the first place. I really was confident when I bought all these products, I spent like 2300 on it. When I bought them all, I was really confident that this set is probably going to be worth more than Phyrexia because it is like a big, you know, story finale thing. And I was like, yeah, Wizards is gonna make sure to have some powerful cards just to keep up the hype. But I don't know. I don't know what happened. I'm pretty much losing on each product. And that's not really what I can afford. Anyway, this one is worth something. Let's go. 6.55. Nice. I will still open up the, each product once and then i will see if i can if i should cut the losses maybe sell the sealed once again it's gonna be a little bit lame but hey all right this guy is worth nothing guardian of kirapur also worth nothing two cents pretty happy about the ren i mean imagine if you buy a jump start and then you don't get something like Ren, you lose even more on it. Uh, this one, nice, another fairy mastermind. Another six bucks. Right. Another six bucks and the last pack, and then we're gonna uh, check the total. Did we make 75 or not? What do we got in the last Brute theme? It's Essence of Orthodoxy and Monastery Mentor. I take it, I guess. 250. All right. We got some Gore Claws that we didn't really scan that are worth something. So let's see how many Gore Claws we got. One, two, three, four, so each of them is around two bucks. The total uh, in my scan didn't catch those. All right, so what do we get in total? Uh, jumpstart, 43. 43 dollars. Uh, oh yeah, the core close didn't add up, so let's delete them. And 43 plus eight bucks of the, for the core close is around 50 bucks. Uh, 50 bucks is 25 bucks lost on this jumpstart booster display. I uh, was afraid this would happen. Um, but let's see if the bundles are worth more. It's gonna be two bundles. Will we get 50 bucks or more from these bundles? I hope I make at least the money back for those. Because basically now I pay 25 bucks for all these commons and uncommons. 
Uh, what do we do? Let me just do it like this. Boom. Alright, let's put it to the side. And go through the rails again. Got some fairy masterminds core close. Uh, most importantly, Ren and Realm Breaker. Beautiful card. Um, Alright. So, bundle time. Let's open this one first and see what's in there because it's the first time I see the bundle box. Oh, we got Elspeth art. And we got this pretty cool looking box. Oh man, they don't have the planeswalker symbol on the sides anymore. That's how I put it in the shelf, kind of. Boom. And then I like to have the planeswalker symbol on all of them, but they kind of never can keep it consistent. We got some punch outs. We got a spin down. Wonder if they are different each. I have a nice spin down bottle that I keep my spin downs in. They're all from Magic the Gathering. All right, and we got six set boosters and some foil lands and a promo card. Galta and Mayren. Let's put the box to the side for now. Um, oops, I turned off the scanner. Let me just quickly start a video again, open the bundle. Alright, scanner's ready again. Let's open this promo pack first and scan this guy. He doesn't have a promo stamp or anything, or is it only for pre release packs? I guess I was confusing it a little bit. This one is 52 cents for the foil one. It's 160. So actually, I guess sellable. Let's put the lens here. Did I go for them? It's just normal basic lens, some foils, some not. And check the set boosters. So I need to make 32 uh, uh, dollars back from this one. A nice art card. Full art, foil land, some comments and uncomments, and a battle, and multiverse legends. Oh, city on fire, already a good start. Oh boy, all right, so much swag. Let's put the lands here. No, oh, let's put them away. The art card can be here, the land can be here. Let's put the comments and uncomments here. Battle, multiverse legends. Um, Multiverse Legends, Edged, Foil, whatever. Well, let's put the foils here. All right, now we got it. List card here. Rares. City on Fire. One of the more valuable cards. Oh man, already dropped so low. <laughs> it keeps dropping, guys. All right. Next one. Art. Uh, not have a land slot anymore because I put it on the boop 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 whatever let's put it here no let's put it away comments and uncomments comments and uncomments comments and uncomments here battle here and we got Judith the Scorch Diva Multiverse Legends five cents we got Scram Senior Edificer Multiverse Legends two cents Yargle and Multani Multiverse Legends. Five cents. And, and oh, we got a rare Ikoria. Oh, is this Fetchland? Holy shit. Is this Fetchland? Not sure. Ikoria to Fetchlands, right? So let's put the foil here and check this price on this list card. 15 bucks. Seems like it is for Fetchland. Oh, I got lucky with this one. Katria Trion. Awesome. A lucky list. Pool. Might have saved this bundle. Should we scan this one as well? One cent. No, we shouldn't have. All right, art card, a land. Where I'll put this here. Comments and uncomments. Two battles, and we got Bright Palm Soul Awakener. I think this is the commander in the commander decks. One of the weaker ones, so it's 32 cents. Multiverse Legends. We got Fibble Fib again. Also worth nothing, unfortunately. 
20 cents a foil where we have foils here and a token don't have place for tokens whatever get out of here all right let's put these a little bit here so the scanner doesn't cover them cool art card And comes uncommons battle. We got Water with Legends. Battle of New F uh, Invasion of New Phyrexia. Oh shit. That's how the turn tables. 382. Mm, That's pretty good. This is not a. Yeah, this is not a rare. A foil and a token. Alright. Oh, I love this artwork. Let's put this here. Battle. Vivian's talent. Shouldn't be worth anything. 21 cents. Multiverse Legends. We got Boon Brinch, uh, Brin, Bringer Valkyrie. Also worth nothing. Foil Battle. A token. Three packs left. Pretty sure we are not at 30 bucks even with the fetch land that we pulled luckily. Counts on commons, battle, the rest legends. Uh, Lathiel the Bounteous Dawn. Two cents. Uh, Ayara, Widow of the Realm. Five cents, a foil, and a trash card. Oops. Oh, signed artwork card, pretty cool. We want to land. Battle, Yargo. Uh, Hidetsugu and Kairi is the only rare here. Ten cents. Foil token. All right, last pack for this bundle. No comments, no comments. We got this guy again, uh, Orteon. He's not gonna scan, right? Yeah, but he's worth nothing. All right, we got Kasla the Broken Halo, Commander Mythic. That looks powerful, at least. 55 cents. Multiverse Legends. Again, Nahiri's Warcrafting. 4 cents. And we got a foil Rona Herald of Invasion. Oh, that's worth something in foil. 2 bucks. Alright. I'll take it, I guess. So, how much did we have in total for this bundle? 27.75. 8 bucks lost, I guess. But. Uh, all right, I guess it's not too bad considering this set. All right, let's put these all together. We got only two list pulls, that's weird. Let's put them to the side. Uh, let's check the rares that we can sell. This one, Evasion of New Phyrexia, transforms them to Teferi Akosa of Zafir. A uh, nice triome and a city on fire. It's not a fetch land, it's a triome. What am I talking about? Fetch land. It wasn't a fetch land, you didn't fetch anything with it. Sorry for the noob uh, commentary. Alright, that's that. Mm. Let's see if this bundle will save it. So I'll calculate the two bundles together in the end. Basically, we got half of the jumpstart value from this bundle, so makes kind of sense. And we got another box here. Seems like the same spin down. Punch outs. Eight set boosters. And the same promo, not even gonna open it. Not even gonna open it. All right. Let's pray, guys. 
that we can make some cash back here. Else I'm gonna end up being broke after this. All right, let's just keep the lands in the same. Let's not, let's ignore the battles like this. Multiverse Legends, Multiverse Legends. We got Hoarding Brute Lord. First rare. Oops. 66 cents. Put him here. And a foil and a token. Like this. A little bit reflecting here because of my light, but I think with the light it's still better than without. All right, art card, some land battles, commons, uncommons. Put them here. Essence of orthodoxy, not even gonna scan it. It's worth nothing. Size and power of truths also worth nothing, I think. But let's scan them. Twenty-two cents. Uh, Quintorius lawmaster also worth nothing. But let's scan them. Five cents. A foil and a trash card. Boom. Foil land. Keep it here. Alright, we got Saint, Traft, and Ram Carolus. Has a uh, commander mythic here. I think I already pulled this guy. 32 cents. Multiverse Legends, Rona, Herald of Invasion. 87 cents, uh, Xerix Foil, and we got a list card, Mercadius Downfall, 3 cents. Let's actually remove the light a little bit further, like this, and keep going. Cool art card. Oh. Beautiful land for some reason. Uh, battle. Oh, nice masterpiece. And we got Invasion of Kaltheim. That's the first time I pulled this one. I don't know how much it's worth. 21 cents. Pointing. Token. Nothing. Oh boy. Hard card. And Commons Uncommons, Multiverse Legends, Doomscar Warrior. These are only rare. Five cents. A foil, a token. Three packs left, and we don't have any sellable cards. Not a single one. That's crazy. And we got Yargo, Multiverse Legends, Ancient Imperisaur. Oh, only rare. 11 cents. We got a foil battle token. Two packs left. Alright, there's nothing we can pull that will save this bundle. Literally nothing. Except for maybe a Ragavan, I guess. And the Multiverse Legend slot. And put this here. Put this here. Uh, Atali Primal Conqueror. Two bucks. Oh, we got some value here. Uh, no value here. And this one. Last pack. Uh, Obosh, the prey piercer, worth nothing, unfortunately. Even though it looks cool. 22 cents. Blood Feather Phoenix is worth, I think, maybe something. One dollar, a foil and trash. Oh, I am even afraid to look. So let's check the total on this one. Mm, Six dollars fifty. Six dollars fifty. So actually, the jumpstart won this battle. The jumpstart pack won it. It's fifty, and the two bundles are total of thirty-five, probably max. Not even. Let's say thirty, because I'm not gonna sell the twenty cents cards. Uh, so both bundles at 30 bucks, the jumpstart was 50 bucks. Um, I paid in total for these three products. Let me calculate 130 and I get back 80 bucks. So it's $50 loss on these ones. The set keeps getting worse and worse. Uh, I have to tell you guys, I'm not even sure. 
Uh, I guess the only hope we have is selling that serialized card that I pulled. Uh, this one. The only hope is that I sell this at some high price and make the money back that way. Otherwise, I'm not sure how this is going to end. I have a bad feeling about it. But if you still enjoy the uh, video, I mean, I guess um, me losing is you knowing what to buy. Uh, I buy these products so you don't have to. Uh, jumpstart, I wouldn't have bought at all if it wouldn't be for these videos. But so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment, uh, subscribe if you want to participate in the giveaway. And see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.